This is Ganymede, a moon of Jupiter. It has a very distinctive surface. The darker areas are older, higher raised surfaces. How do we know this? First, the darker surfaces have been measured as higher tectonically by the scientific community. Secondly, these darker areas have a greater abundance of meteor hits. More hits equals older surface as we saw on our moon. I realize this process may seem to be thunderingly obvious to you. It's not to the current scientific community, and they will certainly not buy it easily. So bear with me. As you can see, we are closing the lower tectonic plates to a very dramatic result. Understand, we are only bringing these upper tectonic surfaces together. The result is we have reduced Ganymede by one-third of its volume. One-third, 30 percent. This just in. When this project began, we had only still photos of Ganymede. Now NASA has a nearly complete map of Ganymede. Some areas are not clear, but for our example, this is terrific. First, we wrap it around a sphere. Good. Now we go back in time and watch as the darker plates move together tectonically. Boy, isn't this a great map NASA's assembled? Look. Let's pick two sides and yeah, not spin them and we'll just watch them go back in time. The dark plates don't shrink, just the sphere and the lower tectonic plates. It's like a puzzle. I promise you, I didn't change anything. Well, you can see for yourself. Many moon surfaces don't show this process as well as others. So I'm consciously choosing the easy ones. I leave it for others in the future to continue this work.